Pulse Audio. Pulse Audio is the default sound system on most Linux distributions. Do you want a good Pulse Audio mixing program? Well, we have one. The Pulse Audio Volume Control, or PAVU Control, is a nice graphical Pulse Audio mixer. But what if you want to adjust sound levels, adjust input devices, output devices, at a terminal or a command line? Well, there is a NCURSES Pulse Audio mixer called NCPA Mixer. That's what we're going to discuss today. Let's get started. So how do you get NCPA Mixer installed on your system? Well, for most Linux distributions, uh, you're not going to be able to find NCPA Mixer in the repos. You're going to have to build it from source. You can find NCPA Mixer over on GitHub. If you are an Arch user, you can find NCPA Mixer in the AUR, the Arch user repository. If you run Gentoo, you can find a Gentoo eBuild for NCPA Mixer. So Arch and Gentoo users have an easier path to getting this installed than most other Linux distributions, but I'm sure building it from source is not terribly complicated. As far as uh, building it from source, dependencies, of course, you have to have Pulse Audio on the system. It is a Pulse Audio mixer, after all. And you have to have the Incurses libraries on the system. It is an Incurses program. Other than that, the build dependencies, you have to have CMake and you have to have the C++ compiler. Before I open up NCPA Mixer, let's quickly take a look at what most people know as the Pulse Audio Volume Mixer, uh, the Pulse Audio Volume Control. PAVU Control. P-A-V-U Control. This is your standard GUI graphical Pulse Audio Mixer. So at the top you have tabs. You have Playback. Uh, nothing is playing on my system, but I will actually start something playing so we get some information here. I'm going to mute it on the video, though. You guys won't hear this piece of music playing, but I'm playing a piece of music right now. But you will see the visualizer here all of a sudden start working. VLC is now uh, a playback device using built-in analog stereo. I could change that to uh, a different input. Anyway, at the top, playback, recording... Recording devices, OBS is capturing my mic with my Scarlett 2i2 USB analog stereo. Of course, we could change the device here. Output devices, input devices, configuration. So we have all those tabs. Now, let me open up NC PA Mixer. So I'm going to close that. And let's get a terminal up. So let me clear all this. NC PA Mixer the name of the program of course all right and you see at the bottom instead of the top tabs playback recording output devices input devices configuration the exact same tabs that were in pavu control so basically this is a re-implementation of pavu control just as a in curses terminal based application now the mouse does not work in this particular incurses program. Some incurses program you, you will have some mouse functionality, but not this one. So you need to know some key bindings. The key bindings are Vim key bindings. Shift L, capital L, moves you right one tab. So we're on the playback tab. Capital L gets me to the recording tab. Capital L, one more time, gets me to output devices. One more time, input devices, configuration. Capital H moves us to the left. Input devices, output devices, recording devices, playback devices. So the Vim keys. If I want to adjust volume, uh, H and L, not capital H and L, just H and L. I can move the volume down three times, up three times with H and L. If I wanted to change uh, the device here, I could hit C for change. And I have the option with J and K moving up and down, just like in Vim. J moves down, K moves up. I could change the device here, whatever uh, VLC is using to capture this, uh, to stream this audio in this case. Escape to get out of that. I don't want to change that. Anyway, I'm going to Shift L over to recording. Now, how do we, we have multiple things to select here. Right now, I'm highlighting the very first thing OBS desktop audio. Well, if I type J, which is in Vim for down, you know, I go to OBS mic auxiliary which is now set to my Scarlett 2i2. If I hit C, you know, we could change 
uh, what what is used to capture my mic. I'm not going to change that because it's going to run this video. But this is how you move up and down, J to move down, K to move up. If I go to a screen where I have multiple things I could select, so if I go to input devices, there's a lot on the screen. You know, to get all the way down to the bottom to built-in analog stereo, I would have to J, 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 J to get to the, the bottom. But standard Vim key bindings do work here, so GG usually gets you to the top of the document in Vim. Well, just one G in this program gets me to the top. See, now I'm back to CamLink Analog Stereo, but capital G gets you to the bottom really quickly. So that's, that's handy if you have a ton of input or output put devices to select from that way you don't have to worry about you know J and K a bunch of times uh, I, I, I'm not sure <laughs> how many people would find that useful but it is basically Pavu control in curses terminal application now for those of you I know some of you are not Vim users how are you gonna know these key bindings well normally I would tell you check out the man page but NCPA mixer is one of those programs where the author, the creator, did not bother writing a man page. There's no man page entry for NCPA Mixer. So I told you guys you could get this particular program over on GitHub. So what I would do is uh, just check out the GitHub page because over on the GitHub page there is the, the default key bindings. Again, it's intuitive if you're a Vim user. Q to quit, you know, C to open up the, the drop down to change input and output devices. Uh, M to mute, we didn't discuss that, but if I go back here, if I wanted to mute, say, what am I on? I'm on built-in analog stereo here at the bottom. If I type M right now, it mutes. M again, unmutes. Also, going back to the GitHub page, some of the hotkeys, 0 through 9 are set to volume percentages. 0 to 0, 1 to 10, 2 to 20, etc., etc. So if I wanted to quickly adjust volume without having to H over and L over. Well, you guys can't see that. Let me change devices here that I'm highlighted on. So I'm going to go up to my Scarlett 2i2. Well, I better not do that one. Let me go up to Cam Link Analog Stereo. So normally H would lower the volume, L would raise the volume, but if I just type 0, we're at 0%. 0 1, 10%, 2, 20%, 3, 30%, etc. 9 for 90%. There is no key binding for 100%. You would just have to go ahead and L over a few times to get to 100%. Again, M to mute, M to unmute. Let me get that back to 100% there. Move it over one more tick. All right. That is NCPA Mixer in a nutshell. And before I go, this show was made possible by Ansem, Carlos, Chris, David, Leor, Rob, and Tony. They are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. They are the producers of this show. This show would not be possible without them. The show would also not be possible without all those fine ladies and gentlemen. You see all those names on the screen. Those are the supporters of this channel. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it entertaining or informative, please consider supporting DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.